Hello everybody, welcome back to the Stone Dogs 40k. Uh, this is the third of the Fires of Anarchy uh, battle missions. Um, so let me just talk you through that mission and uh, then we'll have a look at uh, how the table set up. Uh, so the enemy has presented their forward elements. Both armies are primed and ready for battle, but a key strategic point has been identified and it sits squarely in the middle of no man's land. Priority orders are to seize and hold this valuable asset at all costs. So, battlefield is set up. Um, need to make sure that there is one medium to large size building or ruin in the centre of the battlefield, which is this building right here. Um, this is designated priority target for the purposes of awarding uh, victory points. The players then roll off and starting with the winner, take turns placing six objective markers on the tabletop. Um, so we've got number six there, and number four, and number one, number three, number five, and number two. Each marker must be more than uh, 12 inches away from any other marker and more than six inches away from the battlefield edge. Uh, then deployment, the players roll off and the winner de determines which of the standard deployment maps is used. Um, so we've gone for uh, this one where we have 24 inches deployment that side, 24 inches no man's land, 24 inches uh, on this side. But again, you can use any of the uh, six deployment uh, uh, maps from the core rulebook. Um, so the, um, uh, the, the winner basically uh, picks their deployment zone and then the opponent, opponent uses the other deployment zone. Uh, starting with the player who lost the role, each side then takes turns deploying one unit on the battlefield until all their army is deployed. Uh, must be set up entirely within their deployment zone. Uh, the player who finished setting up their, turn, their army first chooses who takes the first turn. That was the Space Marines. They had, uh, I believe, 15 drops compared to 16 for the Necrons. Um, the Necrons can, if they wish, uh, seize the initiative and take first turn. So, uh, strategic, strategic Dominion is one of the mission rules. At the end of each battle round, a player scores one victory point for every objective marker that they control. This is in addition to any strategic, sorry, tactical objectives that they may have achieved in their turn. Uh, race to Victory, which is the uh, main mission rule, and at the end of the battle, the army who has more models within six inch of the center of the priority target is awarded an additional D3 victory points. Uh, battle uses random battle length, uh, also uses um, the objective cards, so each player must draw three objective cards at the start of their first turn, and on each subsequent turn after the first, each player must draw a further three uh, objectives, and then discard cards until they have a maximum of four in play at any one time. In addition to that, we've got Slay the Warlord, First Strike, and Line Breaker. So, this is uh, Space Marines versus Necrons, you've probably realised, uh, 1750 points per side. Uh, let's get stuck in. So, Space Marines finished deploying first and elected to go first, Necrons want to seize. And they do not, so Space Marines turn number one, coming right up. So drawn three cards at the start of the first turn, so we've got Blood and Guts, score one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed during the fight phase, um, three or more is D3. Uh, defend objective one, now objective number one is right there. So need that for two consecutive turns and then secure objective two. Objective number two is right there. Uh, so need to have that at the end of this turn or at the end of a turn. So that's objectives and let's get stuck into movement. So movement's complete. Uh, Predator has just moved across to the left um, with a view to targeting down this flank. Redemptors move forwards. Hell blasters have stayed put. Everything in the middle here has just done a standard move up to start getting into the center. 
uh, the dreadnought has just skipped across to here and the librarian has moved up and the bikes are moving up on the right. In terms of um, psychic, uh, not going to cast any powers this turn, um, so we're going to go straight into the shooting phase. So end of the Space Marines shooting phase for turn number one. Um, Predator shot everything that it could down towards the race at the end and made no hits. Uh, Redemptor uh, has taken out one of the scarabs and dropped one down to one wound with the heavy little onslaught Gatler. Uh, this dreadnought shot through the gap here and took out one of the wraiths which is just, just, just tucked up over the back there. Uh, and then we've got the bikes that have managed to take a wound off a tomb blade. Um, and the other thing that happened is that two of these Necron Warriors were taken out by the Hellblasters. Uh, so that's it for shooting. Um, there's no charge phase because there's nothing in range of any, uh, any uh, Necron units, so consequently no morale. That's the end of Space Marines turn number one. So, in terms of objectives, uh, secure obje objective two, uh, which is not the case. Uh, defend objective one, which is not the case. And blood and guts, score one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed in the fight phase, which is not the case. So no victory points for the Space Marines this turn, apart from the one that they get for holding objective number three. So one point at the end of that turn. Necrons turn one is coming right up. So Necrons turn number one, uh, just a couple of things. Uh, reanimation protocols got back the wound on the tomb blade and brought back the two Necron warriors that were killed. Um, I deployed the death marks <laughs> along here initially, um, thinking that they were uh, immortals, um, and they obviously weren't immortals. Uh, the death marks get to redeploy later in the game so I've replaced them with the death mark, death mark sorry with the um, the immortals um, so you'll probably notice that through the course of the video um, that's it for um, kind of pre phase one um, in terms of tactical objectives we've got secure objective three objective number three is this one down here and then we've got Dust and Ashes, which is um, I need to no nominate a Necron character from the army. And uh, he scores one victory point if he's still alive at the end of the game. So we're gonna go for uh, we're gonna go for the Overlord this time round. Uh, and then Slaughter of the Living, uh, score one victory point if at least one enemy unit was completely destroyed during this turn. So let's get stuck into movement. So at the end of the movement phase, uh, done an advance on the tomb blades and got them up to easy charge range of the bikes. Uh, squad here is advanced with uh, Imotech and the uh, Immortals have advanced down from the building. Katana's advanced forwards. Uh, the Overlord has just moved forwards here. Um, obviously we've got the uh, Ghost Shroud, whatever it's called, um, on top of the building ready to drop a squad of Necron Warriors. Um, the destroyers have moved, this has moved, this has moved, and then the um, scarabs and uh, the um, wraiths have advanced um, A to get onto that objective and B to get into charge range of the Redemptor. So that's the end of movement of Necrons. Uh, so now we get to do powers of the Catan. And we have got Antimatter Meteor and Transdimensional Thunderbolt. Um, so Antimatter Meteor is a 24 inch range. Closest visible enemy unit is going to be, I think, so 22 inches to that squad of intercessors and yes yeah, even Stevens so we'll do d6 roll of one to three for that unit and four to six for this unit and it's that unit there that's taking an antimatter meteor so on a two plus they suffer d3 mortal wounds 
So they suffer D3 mortal wounds, which is three. So that kills one and puts one down to one wound. Just get a wound marker. So I'll put a wound on that guy there. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So that was my mistake. Um, uh, I misread that rule and I actually have done it right, um, but it was a D6 on the uh, the first roll, which is D6 mortal wounds, and I've rolled three, so I have taken three wounds off. But if I'd have rolled under a six, it would have been D3 mortal wounds, so it would have only been two. So I did do it right, um, but I almost confused myself. Okay. So we're now moving into the shooting phase. So start of uh, Space Marines turn number two. Uh, first things first, we need to draw an additional three cards. So we've got Defend Objective number six. Priority orders received, which means we immediately generate a bonus tactical objective, which is behind enemy lines, and then overwhelming firepower. So we need to discard two of these so that we've got a maximum of four. Uh, so overwhelming firepower, one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed during the shooting phase of your turn. So we could potentially do that one, so we'll keep that one. Behind enemy lines, one unit completely within the enemy's deployment zone at the end of your turn. Unlikely, so we're going to discard that one. Defend objective six. Now objective six is right there. So that's a possible discard. Secure two, two is there. Mm, that's also probably a bit debatable. Defend one. Uh, number one is right over there. And blood and guts, score one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed during the fight phase. So I could discard any of these ones. I'm gonna discard number six because that's the furthest away. So that leaves us those four objectives. End of the movement phase for the Space Marines. Um, nothing going on here. Uh, Dreadnought has just moved forwards. Everything here has just moved into the centre. Um, this Intercessor Sergeant advanced across to here. Um, and the Captain advanced one inch. Hellblasters haven't moved. Uh, Redemptor's still in combat here. The Predator has just done a standard move of 12 inches. And that is it. Um, I discarded um, one of the tactical objectives which would have given me a point for being in the enemy deployment zone, forgetting that I had a squad of 10 assault marines. <laughs> so we do get um, the, uh, the point for line breaker, um, but obviously I messed up a little bit, could have had an extra point. So silly me, never mind. So psychic is next. End of the psychic phase, uh, the librarian cast a smite onto the night shroud and managed to take off uh, two wounds. Um, not going to cast any other powers this turn, so straight into shooting. So at the end of the shooting phase for the space marines, um, the night shroud is down to seven wounds from 12 uh, shots from these units here and the Hellblasters um, and I believe the Las Cannon on the Dreadnought as well. Uh, no damage here um, and the Cryptek who's there, closest visible enemy, um, took two wounds from the Assault Squad and then over this side no damage shots from the, uh, sorry yeah one point of damage off on the Annihilation Barge from the Predator just down this side. So that's the end of shooting. Um, charges are next. Um, only charge I want to attempt is the assault squad into the cryptic. 
So Cryptex Staff of Light, three shots, no hits. So charging, and they get a seven inch charge, which is not enough. I'm gonna command point that, and they get eight. Unfortunately, still not enough. So that's a failed charge. That's the end of charges. Fight phase is next. At the end of the fight phase, um, we've got a wound off a tomb blade just here, no damage in return. And over this side with the Redemptor and the Wraith, uh, stalemate, no damage on either side. So that's the end of Space Marines turn number two. Let's just have a look at the victory point situation. So we've got one for Line Breaker. Um, didn't destroy any enemy units in the shooting phase. Haven't secured two. Not defending one, and have not destroyed a unit in the fight phase. So, one victory point for the Space Marines for turn number two as we go into Necron's turn two next. So, Necron's turn number two, you need to draw three cards. So, secure objective one, defend objective one, secure objective five. So, objective number one is literally right there so we're going to keep those two slaughter the living score one victory point if at least one enemy unit was completely destroyed during this turn we'll keep that one dust and ashes nominate a necron character from your army and we nominated the crypt deck for that one so we're going to i think discard yeah we're going to discard that one secure objective three objective number three is just down here and then secure objective five, and five is all the way over there. So we're gonna, then we're gonna turn in that one, number three. And no, we won't, we'll keep three and we'll turn in five. So that gives us those four objectives. Uh, there isn't anything to do for reanimation protocols, so movement is coming right up. Okay, so Necron's movement phase is complete. Death marks have dropped in right at the back here. Um, on objective three, Night Shroud has moved across to here. Um, these units have all just moved forwards. Um, Cryptek has moved up to get away from the assault marines, and the destroyers have moved across to cover this corner. Uh, the Ghost Ark has dropped a squad of ten here, and the Annihilation Barge has just moved across into the centre. Ghost Ark then has moved up and the Scarabs have advanced to get in to support the Wraith. So that's the end of movement. It's now the powers of the Catan phase. So we're gonna do Antimatter Meteor. Um, so we need to roll a d6 and we get a one. Awesome, so that uh, power doesn't go off. That's the end of the Catan powers phase. So shooting is next. So at the end of the shooting phase for the Necrons, uh, the Death Marks managed to take out one of the Hellblasters. Uh, there's a couple of ne um, Intercessors gone from this squad after being shot at by the uh, Necron Warriors. Um, the uh, Destroyers down at this far end have taken out three of the Assault Squad. That was their save roll. Uh, didn't do very well at all. Um, and then the Ghost Ark took out um, a Intercessor from uh, this squad just on the end here. So that's the end of shooting for the Necrons. Charges are next. So charges are done, just literally charged the um, Scarabs in just to um, support this Wraith. Uh, so the fight phase is next. So into the fight phase, um, the Scarabs and the Wraith took the Redemptor down to nine wounds. The Redemptor then hit back all of those hits going into the um, the Wraith and causing five wounds. So two more than the Wraith had, so that took him out. And then over this side, the bikes have managed to take out the one wound Tomb Blade from this side. So that's the end of the Necrons turn. Let's have a look at their objectives. So, defend objective one, need to hold that for two turns. Secure objective one, um, get a point for that at the end of the turn. Slaughter the living, one enemy unit completely destroyed. Uh, no, we haven't done that. 
and then secure objective three. So objective three was uh, the one up here for the uh, death marks. So we get a point for that one as well. So um, we also get one for line breaker because the um, the death marks are in the um, Space Marines deployment zone. So three points for the Necrons at the end of turn two. So it's Space Marines turn number three and we need to draw three objectives. So we've got uh, death from above. Score one victory point if at least one enemy unit was destroyed in your turn and the last model in the enemy unit that was slain was slain by an attack by a unit that can fly. Okay. Master of the Warp. Score one victory point if you manifested or denied a psychic power during this turn. If you did three or more, score D3 points. And mission critical objective. Roll a D6. And then if we hold that at the end of the turn, it's number two, we get a victory point if we already control it. Um, if it was controlled by an opponent and then we uh, and then we held it at the end of the turn, it's D3 victory points, but it's number two and it's that one right there. So I need to remove three of these. So Defend objective one is currently held by Necrons, so we'll turn in that one. Blood and Guts, unit destroyed during the fight phase. The only unit that may well do so is this one here, but it would mean the um, Redemptor getting four wounds off of the Scarabs, which is doable. Um, so we'll keep that one. I'm going to keep secure object objective two um, because I think I can get onto that with the predator. Overwhelming firepower, enemy unit destroyed during the shooting phase. Uh, that's again, that's possible, but I think I'll turn that one in for now. Death from above, and we'll turn that one in. So we're going to keep blood and guts, secure objective two, master the warp, and mission critical, which is number two so movement is next so into the movement phase for turn three for the space marines and the predator has done a standard move up to get onto objective two so that gives us mission critical and secure objective two at the end of the turn if he's still there uh, all the intercessors have just moved into the building apart from this guy who couldn't quite make it and the apothecary uh, the dreadnought has moved across to here and then if we come over to this side, we've got advances on all three of these HQ models just here from this area. They've managed to get into easy charge range of the Necrons and of Imatech. And then over here, I uh, did an advance on these guys to try and get them closer to the uh, Devastators, but they only rolled a one, so uh, didn't do a, a re-roll on it. Um, but uh, there you go, so we'll see how they go on. That's the end of movement. Psychic is next. Psychic phase is over, so the um, Librarian cast a smite onto the Necron Warriors and uh, caused two mortal wounds, then cast Might of Heroes onto the Gravis Captain, who is likely to charge Imatech in the charge phase. That's it for Psychic. Shooting is coming up. So end of the shooting phase, uh, the Dreadnought shot at the uh, Night Shroud, Ghost Shroud, whatever it is, a mist. Uh, however, the Hellblaster's managed to take two wounds off it. Um, most of the units have advanced, so can't shoot. However, the uh, Predator shot um, Laz Cannons over there and missed, um, but managed to take one wound off of the Ghost Ark with its Heavy Bolters and storm bolters. Uh, that's the end of shooting. Uh, it's charges next. So at the end of the charge phase, uh, the Gravis captain made it into Imatech but lost one wound on Overwatch. Uh, the chapter master and the librarian have made it into this squad of Necron warriors with no losses. And then finally, over the back here, uh, 
Uh, two more of the um, assault squad have been destroyed on Overwatch, but the uh, the squad has made it in. Uh, so combat there due imminently. Uh, then we're going to move into the fight phase. So we'll see you there. So at the end of the fight phase, um, the Gravis captain with his might of heroes managed to get Imatek down to one wound. Imatek then hit back and took another couple of wounds off of the captain. Um, these guys managed to take out a, another couple of the um, Necron warriors. Uh, no damage on either side here, so stalemate there. Um, just round here, um, again no damage on either side. Um, and finally right over here the Redemptor managed to take out the remaining two scarabs and has just consolidated forwards three inches towards the ghost arc. So at the end of turn three for Space Marines, Blood and Guts, uh, destroy an enemy, enemy unit during the fight, fight phase. Um, so we didn't do three but we've definitely done one so there's a point for that one. Secure obje objective two, uh, one victory point if you control it at the end of your turn. So objective two is right there. So that's another point. Master the warp, um, that's for one victory point if you man manifested or denied a psychic power, which we did. So we get a point for that one. And then finally, uh, at the end of your turn, uh, D3 victory points. Oh, it's only one. But even so, that's a good scoop. That's four points for the Space Marines for this turn. So Necron's turn three is coming up next. Right, so first things first for the Necrons, need to draw three objectives. So Supremacy, score D3 victory points if you control any three objective markers at the end of the turn. Uh, priority orders, when this objective is generated, immediately generate a bonus. So that is Code of Combat, so score one victory point of a Necron character, killed an enemy character during the fight phase. And finally we've got Reclaim and Recapture, roll a d6 when this tactical objective is generated. If the result is an odd number, score d3. <laughs> Victory points if you control all three odd numbered objective markers at the end of the turn. If the result is an even number, score D3 objective um, victory points if you control all three even numbered objective markers at the end of the turn. So, just grab a D6 and see what we end up with. Okay, so it's even numbers. So, that means... Number four, which is there. Number two, which is there. And number six, which currently is right here. So number two, we need to get the Predator off of there, which isn't likely to happen. This one we've got, and this one is kind of contested. So it's a bit of a challenge. We'll see what we can do anyway. Movement is coming up next. So movement phase for Necrons for turn number three is complete. Um, the flyer has just pivoted and just moved across to here. It's on its um, middle bracket at the moment, so only can move 20 to 40 inches. Death marks have just skipped forwards. No movement here, uh, not much movement here. Um, the Immortals have just stayed put. However, the Catan and the Overlord have advanced up into the building. Um, the Cryptek has just turned and is moving to support over the back here. And finally the Annihilation Barge has moved forwards just to challenge the Predator for objective number two. So that's the end of movement. Just need to do the Catan powers, uh, or power as I should say. Um, so we're going to do Antimatter Meteor, which is going to hit this squad of Intercessors. Uh, so roll a d6. And on a 2+, plus, the enemy suffers d3 mortal wounds for 1. So that guy at the front there is dead. Uh, 
minus 6 it suffers d6 multiple wounds so if the Catan is using the power as a Tesseract Vault which it isn't so that's it that's the end of the powers phase uh, it's shooting next so Necron shooting for turn number three. Uh, the Flyers managed to take a wound off of the Dreadnought. The Death Marks have popped a wound onto the Hellblasters. Uh, just over here, uh, the Overlord and the Catan have taken out this uh, Intercessor squad. And what else? I think if we look over the far side of the table, we'll see that the Predator is down to eight wounds from 11 after fire coming in from the Ghost Ark and the Annihilation Barge. So that's the end of the shooting phase. It's the charge phase next. Charge is complete. Uh, Predator managed to take one more wound off the Annihilation Barge before the Annihilation Barge charged in. Uh, no damage on Overwatch here, so the Overlord and the Catan have made it into the remaining Intercessors. The Immortals have just done a support charge in to give the, uh, the uh, sorry, give Imatech a hand there, and the Cryptech has charged into the back of the Assault Squad, and the Destroyers have just uh, piled in. So that's the end of charges. Um, a bit of a messy fight phase coming right up. So at the end of the fight phase for the Necrons for turn three, uh, no damage on either side here. Um, the Overlord and the Catan have taken out all of the Intercessors from the central area, so currently control the primary objective. Uh, in terms of the Assault Squad and the Destroyers and the Cryptek, so two more Assault Squad gone, no damage on the Destroyers, but the Cryptek is down to one wound. And then in the centre, um, there's four more Necron Warriors gone from here, but the Gravis Captain has been killed by Imatek. And again, no damage on either side for these two. These two have pretty much an identical profile, so uh, it's very difficult to get wounds uh, on either side. So that is the end of the Necron turn. Let's just have a look at objectives. So um, we needed to control all three even-numbered objective markers at the end of the turn, um, which we don't at the moment because number four is under the Space Marines. However, we got one point for Code of Combat, which was to kill an enemy character, so we killed the Gravis Captain. Supremacy, do we control three objective markers? Currently, no, we do not. Uh, slaughter the Living, uh, destroy one enemy unit, and defend objective one. Uh, objective one is, is here, so currently not being defended. So, two points for the Necrons for this turn. Space Marines turn number four is coming up next. So start of Space Marines turn number four. Uh, scour the skies, advance, and defend objective five. Now these two counter each other, so advance is score one victory point if no unit from your army is within your deployment zone at the end of your turn. Um, defend objective five is score two victory points if you control objective marker five at the end of two consecutive turns. So basically what I would need to do is get everything out of the de de deployment zone in the first turn to score that and then get something back into the deployment zone to score that. Or just go for that and forget that, um, which seems the most sensible thing to do. Um, but anyway, I've had to draw three. Those are the three that I've got. Uh, scour the skies, basically, we need to take down either the Annihilation Barge or the uh, Doom Scythe or the Tomb Blades. Um, Okay, that's it. Let's get into uh, get into movement, and we'll see where we end, end up. the movement phase for the Space Marines. Um, over on this side, initially had thought to move the Redemptor forward to support the Predator with the um, fight against the Annihilation Barge. However, thought again, and actually just moved him back to sit on Objective Five. So if he can sit there for two turns, we get uh, two points. Uh, Hell Blasters haven't moved. The Dreadnought has spun around and come back to start challenging the Death Marks. And the only other bit of movement is the Apothecary and the Intercessor Sergeant who have just jumped up into the building to start challenging for the centre area. 
So that's the end of the movement phase. Uh, psychic phase. We're going to cast a smite, which is going to go on to the Necron Warriors. And that goes off on a 7 for D3 mortal wounds. And we get 2, so that actually takes out the last two Necron Warriors. And then we're going to cast a Might of Heroes, which is going to go on to the Chapter Master. And this goes off on a 6. Should get on a 10. Shooting is next. So end of the shooting phase for the Space Marines, and how abysmal was it? So uh, the Redemptor fired everything um, at the, uh, the Night Shroud, and basically um, either missed or did no damage. Um, the Hell Blasters managed to take uh, two wounds off of the Catan and the Intercessor Sergeant managed to take a wound off the Catan. So the Catan's down to three. Uh, one of the death marks gone from the um, Flamer on the Dreadnought uh, and Imatek has been destroyed um, by the uh, Chapter Master. Uh, other than that, um, no damage. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, sorry, one more. The Cryptek, who's on one wound, has been uh, killed by the bolt pistols on the assault squad. So that's the end of shooting. Uh, charges are coming right up. So the Librarian charged in first and lost two wounds on Overwatch, and then the Chapter Master charged into the Immortals. Uh, the Dreadnought charged into the Death Marks, uh, no damage from those guys. And then up in the centre here, um, the sergeant, intercessor sergeant, who's just fallen over, charged in first to the Catan, uh, lost no wounds on Overwatch, and then the Apothecary charged in, and then finally the Overlord made a heroic intervention. That's the end of charges, and it's the fight phase next. So at the end of the uh, fight phase, uh, as you'd expect, stalemate here. Um, two of the death marks gone with no wounds lost on the Dreadnought. Um, the uh, Apothecary is down to four wounds in the center there. Uh, two of the, um, the Immortals have gone. No damage received on either of the uh, HQ units. And then stalemate over there and stalemate down here. So that's the end of Space Marines turn number four. Let's just have a look at objectives. So firstly, we've got Slay the Warlord for Imatech. Objective five we get at the end of the second turn. Uh, didn't score advance and we didn't scale the skies. So we only get one victory point for turn number four. Necron's turn four is coming up next. So in terms of objectives, we've still got Defend Objective 1, which we're actually off of at the moment. That's that one there. Uh, Supremacy, uh, D3 victory points if you control any three objective markers. So we've got number six, definitely, um, but everything else is either contested or out of range. And then we need to still get on to the even-numbered objectives, uh, which are four, six, and two by the end of a turn so drawing three cards we have got domination so score d3 plus three victory points if you control every objective marker on the battlefield at the end of the turn hmm and then psychological warfare uh an opponent failed a morale test and then witch hunter uh, one enemy psycho was destroyed so that one's definitely possible so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take away psychological warfare and domination and keep the ones that we already had plus witch hunter so let's get stuck into movement end of the movement phase for the necrons for turn number four um, reanimation protocols got them two death marks back and two immortals back uh, otherwise, no movement for the Tomb Blades, no movement for the Destroyers, 
Um, the Necron warriors that were on Objective 6 have advanced to start challenging for the central objective for the battle rule for the end of the turn. Sorry, for the end of the battle. And the Ghost Ark has just shuffled back onto Objective 6. Um, the Annihilation Barge has fallen back and the Night Shroud has moved across. Did a bombing run with its Nebula Spheres on the uh, Hell Blasters and managed to take one wound off taking out one of their number. So that's the end of movement. We're going into the uh, Katarn powers and we are going to cast uh, we're going to cast Transdimensional Thunderbolt on to the uh, Apothecary. So Roll a d6 and on a 4 plus, which is a 4, um, the unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. A 3. So that drops the apothecary straight down to 1 wound. Uh, then roll a d6 for every other unit that, we, that is within 3 inches, and there aren't actually any other units within 3 inches. So that is the end of the Katarn powers. It's shooting next. So at the end of the Necron shooting phase for turn number four, um, the only real target of any worth was the Predator. Um, wound taken off by the Necron warriors. Took it from eight down to seven. Um, the Ghost Ark, who can just see past these crates, took it down to six. And then the Annihilation Barge took it down to four, and the Night Shroud took it down to two. So currently on two wounds here, um, which obviously is an advantage because it gets that off of objective two. So that's the end of shooting. Uh, charges are next. So it turned out at the end of the um, shooting phase, uh, there was no charge phase. Um, the only one that I was thinking of charging was this guy, but obviously this one has a special rule that he cannot charge um, and can only be charged by models that can fly. So I uh, went straight into the fight phase, uh, managed to get another death mark back off of this squad down here, but lost a wound on the Dreadnought. Uh, a wound off on either side on this these two uh, squads here. Um, the Immortals are all gone and then these two HQs have consolidated in. Um, the Katarn has managed to take that last wound off the um, Apothecary. And then just over the back here, uh, one more of the Assault Squad has gone, no damage dealt in return. So that is the end of the Necrons turn number four. Let's just have a look at points. Uh, defend objective one, we haven't got that one. Um, haven't got three objective markers, currently only got one plus one being challenged. Uh, nowhere near that one um, because we didn't get the Predator off of objective two. But we did get a point for Witch Hunter. Um, no, we didn't get a point for Witch Hunter because we didn't actually kill the Psyker. So unfortunately for the Necrons, that's zero points this turn. Um, so Space Marines turn five is coming up next. So Space Marines turn number five, currently got Scale the Skies, Advance and Defend Objective 5 and we get Hold the Line, uh, three units within your deployment zone, uh, Secure Objective 6 which currently has a Ghost Ark sitting on it and Defend Objective 4 uh, which is being contested with the assault marines and the uh, destroyers. So, hold the line. Um, I'm going to keep that one because uh, currently we've got one, two, three units in the uh, in the space marines deployment zone. We're going to keep defend objective five. So I'm going to turn in advance because that is the absolute opposite of hold the line. And I think also 
I'm going to, well, it's, I think both of these are unachievable. Um, but that one is at the end of two consecutive turns. So I'm going to turn in that one, which leaves us secure objective six, which I don't think I'll do. Hold the line, which I should be able to do. Defend objective five, which we should be able to do. And then knock that flyer out, which hopefully we'll be able to do that as well. Right, so uh, movement is coming up next. So end of the movement phase, minimal movement for the Space Marines. Uh, literally the chapter master and the um, uh, librarian have just hopped up into this building to see if they can clear out the Catan and the Overlord. So it's now psychic and the librarian is going to cast a smite onto the Catan. She gets on a 7 for d3 mortal wounds for 3. So that takes the Catan down to two wounds and he's then going to cast I'm going to put Might of, Might of Heroes back on the chapter master um, which fails to go off but I do need that to go off command point reroll so good okay so Might of Heroes back on the chapter master shooting so at the end of the shooting phase uh, the uh, night shroud has been taken out um, one wound off from the redemptor and then the other four wounds off from the hellblasters who overcharged um, we've taken out three of the necron warriors from the predator who's on his bottom bracket so couldn't shoot at the annihilation barge because he would have needed to roll sevens so rolling sixes went into this unit and took three of those out um, and then the katan the katan yes the katan was taken out with fire from these two units so didn't explode um, that's the end of shooting and i can say that there is only going to be one charge to declare which is this one in the center so we'll do that so successful charges it. however the um, chapter master has lost two wounds to overwatch so we're going into the fight phase we'll start with this combat in the center so fight phase is complete um, chapter master is down to three wounds the uh, overlord is down to one wound um, so he's hanging on by the skin of his teeth uh, over here, uh, the death marks, uh, another one gone from that uh, that unit. Uh, over here, one of the tomb blades that was on one wound has been dispatched finally. And then over here, a wound on either side, so one of the destroyers down to two. But that's literally the last assault marine, the sergeant there. So that's it for Space Marines turn number five. Just have a quick look at objectives. Uh, secure objective six, which we haven't done. Hold the line, one victory point if you have at least three units in your deployment zone, which we do. So we've got the Redemptor, the Hellblasters, and the Dreadnought. So we get a point for that one. Defend objective, objective five, score two victory points if you control objective marker five at the end of two consecutive turns, which we do. So that's up to three. And then scour the skies, destroy a flyer. Uh, so four, so four victory points this turn for the Space Marines, and we're going into Necrons turn five next. So objectives for the Necrons uh, still need to take out the Witch Hunter. Um, the even numbers on the objectives, um, we're going to struggle to get number two, um, and number four is being contested at the moment. Uh, supremacy um, need to control three objective markers. The D3 victory points, if I can do those two, then that could potentially be up to six points. And then defend objective one. Objective one currently is there. All of this uh, kind of combat that took place around it has cleared every Necron unit from that objective marker. So, I need to draw three more. Uh, so, defend objective six. Advance. Uh, so get everything out of the deployment zone and behind enemy lines uh, get one unit into the enemy's deployment zone or three units for d3 victory points now i don't really think there's much chance of that happening so behind enemy lines we're going to turn in um, defend objective six we've got uh, that with the ghost arc on it at the moment so we can do that one 
advance. I don't think we can do that one because we've got combat going on there at the moment. And defend objective one. We'll get rid of that one as well. So that leaves us with defend six, witch hunter, hold all of the even numbers, and hold three. Movement is so after the movement phase, uh, the only movement really was these Necron warriors who advanced and got enough of a move to get start getting up into this building. So went straight into the shooting phase because there's no Catan. Um, and again, very little shooting took place. Um, the um, Really the only thing that happened was the Annihilation Barge used its um, heavy gauss array, whatever it's called, which took out the Predator and then used its Tesla, Tesla Destructors, which took a wound off of the, uh, or a couple of wounds off the Redemptor. So that's it for shooting. Um, it's now the charge phase. So charge is complete. Uh, the Necrons are all now in the central building um, after a eight inch charge. Uh, so it's now the fight phase and they will be fighting first. So at the end of the fight phase, uh, we've got a stalemate here. Um, the death marks are all gone. Um, the assault squad is all gone. And in the center, the Overlord is gone, um, as is one of the Necron warriors who was killed by the Primaris um, Psyker. So um, that is the end of Necron's turn number five. Uh, objectives wise, um, do we control three objective markers? No, we do not. We only control two. Um, as a consequence, we haven't got that one because we need to get something on to objective number two. Witch Hunter, we haven't killed the Psyker. And Defend Six, we have done Defend Six. So we do get two victory points for that one. So that's the end of Necron's turn five. Does the battle continue? Random battle length for this mission. And we've rolled a five. So we're going into turn six. So three objectives for Space Marines for turn six. So no prisoners, score one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed. Three to five enemy units is D3 and six plus is D3 plus three. Uh, no mercy, no respite, score one victory point if at least one enemy unit was destroyed and or failed a morale test this turn. Three or more, then D3. We still got such a secure objective six in play, and we need to draw Witch Hunter, which we cannot achieve. So, that's where we're up to. So let's get stuck into movement for turn six for the Space Marines. So movement wise, um, this guy's on his um, bottom bracket, so if he moves, then he's gonna have issues actually targeting so he's going to stay put uh, this dreadnought has just moved standard up to here to get into flame range of the um, annihilation barge there's no other movement there's very little left in terms of space marines on the table now anyway so we've got these two units and then the bikes over the far side everything else has been taken off the table oh, we've also got the hell blasters i must not forget about those so that's it for um, the movement phase. In terms of psychic, um, we're gonna do a good old smite, which is gonna go on to the Necron Warriors in the center there, uh, which we get on an eight for D3 mortal wounds, which brilliant is three. So three of those guys are removed. And we are also going to cast, I think not, might of heroes this time psychic scourge uh, so for psychic scourge um, a warp charge value of six select a visible enemy unit within 18 inches and add uh, no we're not going to do that one that's a bad one for necrons because necrons have quite a high leadership score anyway i think they're 10 for their basic leadership um, so that one's probably not the best power to use on necrons so we are going to use might of heroes again and this time it's gonna go on to the, um, yeah, we're gonna put it on the, um, the Psyker this time. So this goes off on a six, which it does. So that's Might of Heroes on the Primaris Librarian. That's the end of Psychic.
so it's shooting next. So at the end of the shooting phase, um, bolt pistols on the bikes have taken a wound off the tomb blade. Um, bolt pistol on the um, Primora Psyker has taken two of the Necron Warriors out. Um, and then shots from the uh, Dreadnought here and the Redemptor over here have managed to take a couple of wounds off the Annihilation Barge. Um, we've just got the Hell Blasters left. So we're going to shoot those now, and they are going to shoot into that, uh, that Annihilation Barge. So because we're getting towards the end of the game, we're going to overcharge. So these are rapid fire, so they get eight shots. Is that eight? Yes, it is. And these are going to hit on fours because that is a flyer. And we haven't rolled any ones, so that's good. So we have got four hits. These are strength eight versus... Toughness six, so threes to wound. We get three wounds. These are minus four AP, so um, the Annihilation Barge can't save against that. And they are two damage each, so that is six wounds. And that is the end of that Annihilation Barge. Um, now, he does not explode. Oh, he does explode on a six. No, he doesn't explode. That's the end of shooting. Uh, charges and So at the end of the fight phase for the Space Marines, um, down here, uh, the last Tomb Blade has been taken out of action. And then in the center, um, the um, Primaris Librarian with his Might of Heroes took out um, all but one of the Necron Warriors that were in the middle there. And then the Chapter Master took out the remaining one. So uh, cleared out the centre, which is great, um, but there's, <laughs> there's very little left in terms of Necrons on the board now. Literally the Ghost Ark over there and the Destroyers over here. Um, that's the end of Space Marines turn number six. So Necrons turn six is next. So let's go and have a look at what they can of do. Of course, before we do that, we need to look at objectives for the Space Marines. Uh, so, secure objective six, we didn't do. Um, destroy one enemy unit at least, we did. So, we've destroyed the Annihilation Barge. We've destroyed that uh, group of Necron Warriors. Um, and we've destroyed the Tomb Blades. So, actually, we've got three uh, units that we've destroyed. So, that means we get D3 victory points for that one. And it's two. And then no prisoners, score one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed in your turn. If between three and five were destroyed, that's D3. We didn't do six, but we did do three. So that's another dice roll of D3. And that's three. So five points for the Space Marines for turn number six. So Necrons for turn number six, uh, Resurrection Protocols, uh, oh that's a stratagem, <laughs> how did that get in there? Uh, Age of the Machine, uh, score one victory point if at least one enemy vehicle model was destroyed during this turn. Not really going to get close enough to be able to do that I don't think. Um, defend Objective 2, so Objective 2 uh, is that one there. And then finally we've got mission critical, roll a d6. So, whoops, it's number four. Okay, so if I want to score that, uh, oh, I do score one point now. So that puts the uh, Necrons on 11 compared to 16 for the Space Marines. Uh, not going to be able to control three objectives because we've only got two units on the board. Not going to be able to control all the even numbers because we've only got two units on the board. Could potentially get a point for Witch Hunter. Defend objective two. Need to control that at, at the end of two turns. Um, and mission critical objective, we've got the point for that. So that puts the Necrons on 11 compared to 16. 
Uh, if we get that one, that's 17. Um, unlikely that we'll get that one from where we are at the moment. If we get that one, that will be... Um, what am I talking about? If we get that one, that'll be 12. And if we get that one, that'll be, it'll be 14. So that'll be 14, 16 at the end of turn six. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, let's go for it and see what we can do. Um, movement is coming So into right. the movement phase, the destroyers have just kind of huddled around objective four over here. Uh, and the ghost arc has just moved up onto objective number two. Um, in terms of shooting, uh, that's coming up next. Uh, let's see what the Necrons can do. So at the end of the shooting phase, um, the uh, Psyker has been killed um, and the Chapter Master is down to two wounds. Closest enemy model, so shots from that, the um, Destroyers and from the Ghost Arc into the centre here. So that means at the end of the turn, because there's no, uh, no combat to resolve, um, the Necrons have scored one point for Witch Hunter. Uh, haven't done that one. Defend objective two. Need to hold that until the next turn. And defend objective four. So we get a point for that one. So we get two points. One, two. And that is the end of Necron's turn number six. So does the game continue? It does not. So uh, the player that has the most models within three inches of the center of the um, primary objective uh, scores D3 victory points. So that's another three points for the Space Marines. So let's go and have a look at the total. So at the end of the battle, the um, Space Marines finish on a total of 19 um, with that additional three taking them up from the 16. Uh, the Necrons finish on 12, however, at the end of each battle round, uh, you would score one victory point for each objective that you hold. Um, so I'm going to go through and total that up and see what difference that makes to the actual overall total. So at sure. the end of the, uh, the battle, having totted up the final points, um, the, uh, the final score is uh, 23 to the Space Marines but 25 to the Necrons. So the ne Necrons managed to just hold uh, a few more objectives at the end of each uh, end of each battle round than the uh, Space Marines did, which pushed them into the lead. Uh, that's the end of the battle. So Necrons win by the slenderest of margins. Now I'll put the link to this, um, this mission plus the other five Fires of Anarchy missions in the description. Uh, so that'll take you to my Google Drive. So if you want to download them and have a go at these missions, by all means do so. It'd be great to hear your, your thoughts and comments. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.